Hey guys, what's going on? Jay here, smarthelping.com. I had a quick little tip here. If you are having problems with a apt, uh, the script editor for Google Sheets, um, this is something I just came across because I, I do a lot of client work for, with Excel and Google Sheets and uploading between all of them. So here's the problem, and I'm going to show you um, right here. So if I hit File, Upload, and I know you can't see this, but I am clicking on a Google document and I'm uploading it to the drive. Here it is. It just popped in here. So look at this. It says .xlsx. That's a problem. This will not be able to be, ha you can't go into a script editor. There's no script editor at top at the top here. So what do you do? Well, you can't just hit file, make a copy. You can try that, but it just, you still got the .xlsx or whatever the, um, the XLSX, yeah. So that's a problem because let's say you want to build in some scripts for whatever reason, because Google Sheets has a you know scripts editor that allows you to do some cool stuff, uh, but you can't here. It's, it doesn't exist. Here's the trick, and it's really not a trick. It's just what you have to do. You got to go to New Sheet, create a new sheet. Now look, now you see the Extensions app, App Scripts Editor. Now you can go to it and do your scripts and all of that here. The problem is the Google, the Excel sheets you just uploaded from your computer, you've got to copy over the logic. Now, if you just copied it from your Excel document and tried to paste it into Google Sheets, it will not retain the formulas. But if you copy, you know, see there's formulas here, you can copy like a, a sheet like this and go to the new document you just you created a new blank google sheet with this extensions ribbon at the top you can do that paste it in here okay and now look i've retained the formulas and the formatting and everything else and i've got a copy of this over here um, i'd have to do some formatting still but it, it retained the formulas which is important now you can see this is definitely a problem if you have a financial model with 30 different tabs, you don't want to paste over the tabs and have to recode it. Now that's only an issue if you want to add in apt script things. Um, if not, then this is not your problem. But I, I know people are probably uh, uploading stuff from Excel to Google Sheets and then if they try to run a, a script on it, they can't because you can see here the .xls extension, uh, Google, it's still a Google Sheet. It has all the Google Sheet functionality and everything else, but there's no extensions tab at the top. Now, I don't know if, if you can add that in on one that says XLSX. I'm assuming not, and that says that for a reason. Um, but this is just what I found is you had to make a separate Google Sheet, um, just a blank Google Sheet from your drive, just going to New, hit Google Sheets, and just make a new one, and then use that. Uh, and just paste in your data from the other um, Google Sheet Excel documents that you uploaded to Google Sheets uh, in the first place. And you could also uh, see they, they added uh, macros, record macro. That's new. I know that used to not be in here, so that's kind of interesting to see. Um, but anyway, just a quick tip. Uh, other people are probably running into this if I ran into it. So um, good luck out there. And if you want actual financial model templates, I offer all kinds of stuff at smarthelping.com and all kinds of different categories. I do a lot of modeling for uh, SaaS startups, real estate underwriting, joint venture distribution models. Um, I've got a lot of accounting tools and you can click into them and see all the different templates uh, I've got there. You can buy by category. You can buy, uh, you can buy the entire, uh, if you go to the home page and click down here, you can get the whole template library, over 150 financial models, all with unique logic uh, across all kinds of industries for $9.99. Uh, very fair deal if you're trying to learn finance and get used to the spreadsheets that are used um, by investors and organizations to perform and evaluate projects and uh, do cash flow projections, IRR, discounted cash flow analysis, all that stuff is in here. Uh, so check it out, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.